improvised um, welding boots I built and uh, also put some welds in and stuff. Oh, let's have a close look. So, anyway, the idea with a welding booth which I actually built from scrap metal from my old grill. <laughs> I'll watch the new grill assembly even. Look up there, I hope I'll put a link to it. Um, so anyway, the idea is to, um, when you're welding, you create an arc, and then the arc dissipates um, ultraviolet energy around the electron arc location, and that's actually not good for human beings, or animals, or children, or, you know, so um, you want to actually protect your environment, so you're not sending that arc energy where it's not supposed to be, so, so that's usually why you have a, a welding booth. Of course this is relatively small, but most of the stuff that I'm going to be welding is going to be relatively confined, so I think this will work fine. So it has the two blocking walls, and then it's um, fastened down very securely, and then it has this beam here, and this is primarily going to be an object where you can actually, as you see, tighten the object to be welded to. So it doesn't move, so the worst, one of the worst case scenarios is that when you're doing stick welding, which is a sticky business then, if you get the welding rod stuck on the object and then you just try to pull it off and then at the same time you pull, pull the um, object you're working on on top of yourself and throw it somewhere where it's not supposed to be, it's not such a good idea. The other good thing with this booth design, just accidentally is that it's got these edges so it'll, uh, it'll catch quite a lot of the sparks that are usually fly around in the way. But uh, today happens to be a day where it's actually been raining quite a lot. So the, the ground around this area is very wet so I don't think you have to worry about too much about this. Anyway. So we'll start with this setting. See how it works. And I have two millimeter rods. So I will be using these rods initially. And see what we can do with them. Yeah, that will be the first time that I use the generator to power the power the welding also, so that'll be interesting. Cleaned it up a bit. Total crap. But it is my very first welds. And then the thing is that I don't know. Yeah, of course, welding into this thick steel is not the ultimate. I just feel like it's dry. Ah, first piece of art. So anyway, that's um, 
first welds with the um, welder and generator combination. So, not really 100% sure if, if the generator welder combination is working as intended current delivery wise. I will have to continue experimenting and training. was actually stickier welds than I expected. So quite a lot of them have actually eaten into the metal quite well. So that's, that's interesting. So anyway, that'll be clean now for the next step. So anyway, the next step will be to try the um, same type of rod. But it'll be two and a half millimeter. So we'll switch the current to the next level up. as well as I thought but the generator was making a weird noise so it might be that it's running out of gas so I have to actually check should have checked that before I start it was running a bit unstable So, 
the issue is, what is it? The generator? The power? Just me not knowing how to work. Start a well properly. Or maybe it's just trying to weld into such a thick block. It takes so much. It's not so much of the heat. Test setup is not good. I'm not sure you meet or the, the, this would be expected with this setup. So, anyway, if you thought this video was interesting, press the like button. Um, if you want to see more of this stuff and different types of content, then hit subscribe. If you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee for these struggles, we would greatly appreciate it. Merch is also available in the, comment, in the comments. And, um, yeah. I'll think about this for a while. See what improvements one can do to this setup. I'd like to be able to create a bead on this. It's a little bit better than this. Uh, uh, we'll see what we come up with.